result will a fuel injected 300cc two stroke compare to our YZ500 special build? That's the question we'll be answering in today's video. Let's do it. So this is a shootout that a lot of people have been asking to see ever since we finished our YZ500 conversion last year. So today, both Sean and I will be spinning laps on board the YZ here and on board our new acquisition. Like I said, a lot of you guys have been asking to see our big 500 go up against a modern fuel injected two stroke. But as it turns out, the brand new 2023 fuel injected KTMs and Husqvarnas are pretty much as rare as unicorn crap right now. They're so hard to get hold of to test. So we've gone down a different route. I bought this 2018 Husqvarna TE 300i, which was the first year that they changed from carbureted bikes to fuel injected. Now, if you know me here at the channel, you'll know that I haven't just bought this bike for this one video, but I'll let you take some guesses in the comments down below about what we might be doing with this bike in the very near future. But for today, it's all about seeing how this technology compares to our monstrous big boy Yamaha. And of course, we'll be doing a hot lap showdown to decide the winner. Let's do it. Okay, so it's not going to be the perfect test of a fuel injected motocross bike versus our Wyzilla YZ500. This is the Enduro spec version, so it does have a headlight. It does have a side stand and it's got a god awful rear tyre on because it is a road legal machine. But still, I think it will be an interesting experiment. So let's twist it and see how this thing feels. Right, so I've just had my first ride on the 300 two-stroke here. First time I've ever actually ridden a 300 two-stroke. One of the first times I've ever ridden a bike with a headlight on it as well, so a few things to get used to. I did feel like it was heavier at the front actually into some of these corners. It's a bit slick out there today, so um, that rear tyre wasn't the most useful out there. But hopefully the track's going to bed in and it will be a, a really good testing ground to put this against the wise a little later on. Uh, so I was uh, playing with the maps as well. I started off in the more aggressive map. And you switch it to the softer one because it is quite slick out there at the moment. So uh, that's how I'm feeling on the bike. It's a lot to get used to that power delivery. Like I say, I've not ridden a 300 two-stroke before, let alone a 300 fuel injected two-stroke. So I'm just getting used to that power delivery, how that um, performs out there. I'm going to let Sean have a go now. He can test his bike and then he will uh, do a back-to-back -back lap on the Wiseler as well. So let's crack on with that test. I'm very impressed with it, yeah. It's the uh, first time I've been on one, um, and uh, yeah, I was mega impressed. Uh, it's got good power, torquey power as well. I mean, you can see the back tyre, it's absolutely shot, but um, it gets mega grip because uh, it's got a real torquey motor and very easy to ride. It's, it's a bit hard to steer because it's got a moose in the front, uh, but we'll just have to see how we go today. Um, but yeah, no, quite enjoyed it. We're going to do a hot lap showdown, obviously. 300 versus 500, what do you reckon, Sean? That, it's going to be tough. That'll be, that's going to be a toughie. I think, I don't know, I, want, I don't want to call it. Both your bikes, Max, who do you want to win? Um, I'd quite like the 500 to win, just because uh, um, there's no replacement for displacement and all that. Um, track conditions though, which which bike do you think it will suit better out there? I think that's all down to tyres. Yeah, um, so we just... Like <laughs> he doesn't like either of the tyres. <laughs> there is a fast straight down there, so I think the 500 might, but this, this is fast as well, so I don't know, tough call. We have had this on the dyno, and obviously we've done the Wyzilla on the dyno. This was, it was 44, wasn't it, on the dyno, and the Wyzilla, you're looking at mid-50s, so there is quite a significant power difference. It's whether or not you can actually get that to the ground today. 
But uh, let's shut up and find out. So Sean's on his warm-up lap. The bike is sounding sweet, to be fair. He's on the Husky 300 at the moment. I've got the stopwatch ready, so it's the moment of truth. Which bike do you guys think is going to be faster? Let us know your guesses in the comments down below because we're about to find out. So uh, let's hand it over to Sean. Sounds like he's on the gas. So Sean's on his hot lap on board the Husqvarna TE300i. It sounded sweet out there. And we're about 15 seconds into the lap now and that reminds me to tell you guys about an awesome discount from our friends, our sponsors of the channel, 24MX. If you use our code MAX15, you can get 15% off a whole load of products on the 24MX website. There's some links in the description down below. I've got some of the products on the screen now as well. So if you're interested, go and check that out. And a big shout out to 24MX for supporting the channel and helping us do crazy videos like this and more projects in the future. Now let's hand it back to Sean because he is flat out on the Husky. in on board the Husky 300. We'll wait for Sean to stop and then we'll tell him the results. Looked like you had fun out there. It sounded bloody good. Well, I thought I'd do two hot laps because I was having that much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so uh, it's worth mentioning that is slightly new layout here at our test track. There's a couple of the deeper sections here, sound yeah. section over there, a yeah. new jump or two. A few jumps on and so stuff, yeah, slow com down. Comparing times to last year, we, we'll just ignore that. Yeah. Um, first lap was the fastest. 153.75. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So that's the time to beat on the Wyzilla. Yeah. Let's go roll out the 500 and get, get going on track. So Sean's out on the Wyzilla YZ500, about to set his hot lap. Let's see what it can do against the 300 fuel injected Husqvarna. Here he is now. I've got a stopwatch ready. That sounds so good. Let me know which one you think sounds best in the comments down below. I think I know my winner, but I might be a little bit biased. Although they are both my bikes, so you know, I can pick favourites here. Sean's on his hot lap now on board the Wyzilla YZ500. Now, if you are a new viewer to the channel and you don't know what this bike is, I do feel like I say it a lot, but if you are a new viewer, this is a YZ500 two-stroke. It's not a CR500 squeezed into a, a frame, a YZ frame or a KX500. We turned a YZ250 into this 500cc beast using BRC Racing's awesome YZM500 conversion kit. It's a special kit they make for this bike. We haven't had, we haven't had to chop the frame up. We haven't had to squeeze something massive into this little bike. It generally is 
a Yamaha 500 two-stroke with a counterbalance shaft. It's a, it's a work of art. We've loved the build, but let's see. Let's see what it can do against the 300 fuel-injected Husqvarna. Sean's on his hot lap now. So we're trying to pull Sean in to tell him about his lap times, but he just keeps going. Hey. You didn't want to stop on that one either. No, I didn't. You look like you're having fun out there. Yeah. So your first lap was the fastest on this bike. It was a 153 on the 300. 150 on the yeah, Wyzilla. 150.9. Yeah, you so. can tell. Considering we raced this double cross last week, yeah. and we've done more to the suspension tweak wise, yeah, different bike. Where do you think this bike was gaining those advantages? Three seconds a lap. Well, for a start, it's got motocross suspension, so we've got to take that into consideration. But I think everywhere it turns so well. Yeah. You know, you know. Now, now we've had a bit of time to set it up. Amazing. I'm just blown away with it, literally. And I'm not a fan of it. I could ride this all day. We do have some more stuff coming on the channel soon that might make that 300 more competition for this bike. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned. Send us your guesses in the comments down below what you think we're going to do with that 300 two stroke. But um, why does need to watch out, I reckon? Because you did like that bike as well today. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it's very good. Um, but the, you know, the, the, that, that range KTM Husqvarna gas, I say, you know, I, I do like the chassis. You know, I am, you know, an Austrian fan. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll see. But for today, Wisella conquers all. a massive thanks goes out to our sponsors for helping us do what we do and also a big shout out to the suspension wizard Stuart Holland for setting up the Wisella perfectly as always guys my name's Max this is 999 laser until next time I'll see you at the track <laughs>